Hi guys, I'm Andy Moss and I'm going to be showing you how to fit the new Nico Digital Black. Uh, this is a Build It Award winning best home technology product and we've been waiting for it in the UK now and we're going to be fitting it. So I'll show you how to do that and how to program it. So this is the base plate for the Digital Black. You can see here that we've got the, the top is there. Now the most important thing with these is that we the fixings are top and bottom. Okay, now this is the 24 volt version for the Nico home control on bus wiring. As you can see here, we've got the 24 volt plus and minus, so it's important we get the polarity correct. And here we've got the 24 volt cable coming out of the wall. So all I'm gonna do now is, I've got push fit terminals, so I'm gonna find the plus, I'm gonna push that in like so, give a little tug, and then I'm gonna find the other one, I'm going to push that in there. So it's as simple as that. Then all I do is I just need to tuck that into the wall, making sure it goes the right way up. Twist it in, nip it up. So here's the digital black screen. So as you can see on here, we've got the connections there that plug into there. There's a little lock, you see that in the bottom there? A little locking mechanism there to hold it in place. So all I do is I hook it on the top, snap it on the bottom, and then we screw it up. Okay, so when we power it up with a 24 volt DC supply, we'll see the Nico logo on the front, and that will just stay there for uh, a few seconds, maybe a minute uh, at the most, and then you'll get your QR code. Now, this is where you can download the app, and then you can click the next button, and that will then take you to the next step of setup. Now we access our app, the Nico Home app, which is the blue house icon, and just follow the steps through into settings, then we select devices and then digital blacks. Then we click add digital black. We select our, it finds our digital black on the system and it asks to access our camera. So we access our camera because we need to scan the QR code. Just follow the instructions. So once it accesses the camera, it'll scan the QR code and it usually does this fairly quickly because it's a very sensitive camera. Um, it asks to join the network, so you just click join. Then it'll ask you for your own Wi-Fi, because of course the digital black communicates via Wi-Fi. So you need to connect to your own Wi-Fi by entering your password for your own SSID for your own password uh, for your own Wi-Fi name. So once that's done, it then connects the digital black to the Wi-Fi network. So it adds it to the network, and once it's done that, you can then select your digital black and click Next. Just follow the instructions on the screen, follow it through, and now we can start to add our content that we want to appear on the digital black. So we click Content, and then we select our content. Now the content we can select is up to 12 actions. Now these actions are pre-programmed in the Nico Home Control software. Uh, we can program the Nico Home Control installation now through the app as well. Uh, but this is an installation that I've pre-programmed. And I'm just going to select the room. So here I'm going to have some functionality for the hall, for the down lights, for the table lamps and things like that. And I'm also going to add some functionality for my lounge area as well. So the digital black is designed as a room or an area specific control for multiple controls in that area. We can add our music, our heating, our lighting and our ventilation. So up to 12 actions. So once we're happy with that, we can complete that section. And then now we need to order those that appear on the app. 
uh, on the digital black. So first of all, we're going to select our favorite. Now, number one is the favorite. That's the one that appears uh, as soon as you wake the digital black up. So it's like a favorite function of the first function. And everything else we can just configure so we can move them in the right order that you want them to appear. Okay, so this is it, literally fitted in less than five minutes and programmed as well. So we've set up a number of actions on the display. Uh, this is the display fitted and working in what we call carousel mode. Okay, so we can scroll from uh, action to action and select what we want, or we can shortcut to wherever uh, at the bottom. Okay, we also have another mode called grid mode, so I'm just going to show you that now. So we access our Nico Home app. And then we go into the configuration and then settings. We select our devices. It loads the configuration and we select digital black. So it finds the digital black and we select that one. Then we click on visualization and then we change to grid. And then it automatically configures it. Okay, so here it is in grid mode. And as you can see now, you've got more actions on the screen. Uh, more control on the single screen so we can just swipe from left to right to be able to do that okay and control our heating and adjust it accordingly or to turn our lights on or to turn these on and off accordingly okay guys so like I said, that's the digital black. It's fitted in less than five minutes. It's programmed super simple. Uh, we have two versions of it. Now, it's an award-winning product, like I said earlier, uh, the Build It Awards for the best home technology product. Um, we're the UK distributor, Moss Technical Services, so you can find us at homecontrol.uk.com. That's www.homecontrol.uk.com. Um, this product is available in both a 24 volt version for Nico on bus wiring and also a 230 volt version for mains wiring. So even you guys with a normal uh, 230 volt traditional installation, uh, you can have this, you can take your switch off because the 230 volt version has got a switch contact on the back of it. So this could be in your home ASAP. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and share it and follow us on YouTube. Thank you.